Hey guys, how's everyone doing today? So today's the first day of the weekend that I'm here at WKU and I'm about to head out. Um, I'm about to actually get some lunch first before I go around town. But let me give you guys a sneak peek on what the hall looks like and the food they serve. So guys, I just finished eating lunch a little while ago. And as you guys see, they had breakfast for lunch. And I wanted to talk to you guys while I was eating, but there were still so many people in there and it would have been awkward if I was vlogging while doing this. So instead, I just had to show you guys the meal and kind of just sit there for a little while while eating. But now I'm heading to my car because I'm planning on exploring the town a little bit so you guys are gonna be on this adventure with me let me tell you walking up this hill is extraneous okay so after some driving and kind of getting lost a little bit but um we uh we finally arrived to the mall i'm right outside jc penny right now so let's see what's in the mall guys so I'm at the mall right now guys and it kind of reminds me of the mall back in back in my hometown which is weird but dang this is actually a really nice mall oh I gotta find my store so I can start maybe window shopping or possibly shopping today okay guys so I've pretty much kind of gotten a layout of the mall so our first stop is gonna be Air Postal. so let's go and check out what they have okay so Air Postal is pretty much always been my favorite store and guys they have amazing clearance sales right now like all these jeans are $17.99 and there are some marked for $9.99. And then all these shirts and jeans. Literally, how am I supposed to pick throughout all these clothes? Watch, I'm gonna bring a lot with me to the fitting room. I'm gonna be in trouble today. I end up finding four things and I'm in the fitting room right now. But check this out. These carpenter pants, guys, they're green. And then we have these cargo joggers that are in corduroy. And then these jeans are like ripped. They kind of look like khakis, but they're ripped. And then I found this like vintage shirt, guys. Check this out. I found this like vintage shirt. Sadly, it's not in my size, but I still want to see if it would fit or if I could pull it off. So I'm gonna show you guys the fits. So here we go. So I'm all dressed up again, and I think I know which ones I'm gonna get. I'll tell you guys here in a little bit after I check out. So I just got out of Air Apostle, guys, and I bought the cargo shorts and the vintage shirt just because I really felt that fit, and I really like both of those items. I would have gotten the ripped jeans, but it just wasn't working out for me. But let's go check out what else we can find here at the mall. So here at the mall guys, down here, they have an Ulta Beauty and I definitely had to stop in just because I needed to see if they had any of the products I'm looking for, just so I have a place to shop for them this time. But let me give you guys a sneak peek of the whole store because it's pretty nice in here. So I've been looking for a new leave-in conditioner because mine's about to run out and I'm trying to grow thick hair right now, which the one I'm currently using hasn't been bad because it healed my damaged hair, but I want my hair to be thicker and look what I found. So this is a leave-in conditioner I've been seeing all over TikTok and people have been like ramping it up. So I'm definitely going to try it and I'll let you guys know how it goes. I decided to change what I was going to get because after doing some research, um, I didn't really see anything about Kristen X helping with thick hair growth so i decided to get ordinary's hair care product line and this supposedly helps with, for growing thick hair and makes your hair even more fuller which is something that i need right now so i'm definitely going to try this out i'm excited this mall is so nice it's insane like this chair literally in the chair i'm sitting it's one of the most comfortable mall chairs i've ever sat in my manager told me like this mall didn't have a lot but there's a lot more to shop in here than I initially thought. She made it seem like it wasn't like gonna be a good mall or anything, but no, it's amazing. I've enjoyed my day. I literally have like two pieces of clothing and a new hair care product. That's like a done deal for me. And then there's this like city trend shop store right behind me and I might go and check it out because it looks like a really good thrifting store and I've been trying to get more into thrifting. 
So once I get a little break, I'm definitely going to be going in there. So I didn't find anything in the City Trend store. It had thrifting potential, but there was nothing in there that I really liked. So now I'm going to go over to the vinyl shop that they have here in the mall because there might be a vinyl that I want in there. Let's go check it out. Okay, so that vinyl shop, I couldn't find anything that I wanted in there because most of the artists I didn't really know. There are only a few modern artists in there, but it was a very vibey place and I definitely need to visit again next time when I get the chance. Now your boy's about to head over to Rue 21 to see what they have. Okay guys, so usually I don't find anything in Rue 21, but they're having a deal on $15 and I'm going to show you guys the fix. Okay guys, so I just came from Route 21. I bought three sweaters. They were a really good deal. And now I'm about to head into Hollister. This should this will probably be my last stop before I head out for the day, but let's see what's in Hollister. I just came from Hollister and just like always, I couldn't really find anything in there. A little too pricey for me, but it's okay because I got a pretty nice haul today. Guys, when I got here, it was like daylight outside and now look at this. Like the sun's gone down and that sunset is gorgeous. Like what? So I'm out of the mall, but my day's not over just yet. Just because this is the first weekend in Bowling Green, so there's a few more places I wanna explore. I'm gonna be filming a couple more places and then that'll be the end of my day, but let's keep it going because I'm definitely excited to see how these next tours are gonna go. I just made it to my next location. There are a few struggles along the way and Loki almost might have almost gotten to an accident, but we're here safely, thank the Lord. Here is our next location, check it out. We are gonna be going to Plato's Closet. Like I said, I have been wanting to thrift for, or thrifting something that I'm trying to get into a lot more. So hopefully I find something here because the one back in my hometown, I always found at least one thing there. And uh, oh, I love the old piece I found. So hopefully find something here. So let's get it going. Okay guys, but the number of people in here is insane. I mean, I know it's Plato's Closet, but I've never seen Plato's Closet be this full before. Let's see if I can find anything I want. So I just came from Plato's Closet, guys. Sadly, there was nothing in there. Literally, since I've done, been at Plato's Closet before so many times, I just can tell if I want something or not, like off a glance. And sadly, there wasn't anything in there that really caught my eye. I can't believe I didn't notice this, but there's a literally a retro store right in front of my car. It's called The Great Escape Records and Comics. I might actually go check that out. So let's see what they have, guys. Y'all, <laughs> I was in that, <laughs> that vinyl shop that I found or this, the records for those I found for like a good maybe hour. And literally all I was doing was rummaging through stickers because I've been needing new stickers for my laptop and they had TWICE, HiQ, and My Hero Academia stickers, which are three things I absolutely love and would love on my laptop. Now, I don't know if you guys know about half price books, but like they rarely have any in the area and for, in my hometown, they have none. And this place is literally the best place to buy books. It's way cheaper than Barnes & Noble's, which was the only bookstore in town or in my hometown. And you can find some really old books for a really good price. So let's see what they have here. I just came out of Half Price Books. They had a lot of great deals in there. And of course, as you guys saw, they had like a lot of good old DVDs and stuff. Like they had Buffy the Vampire Slayer and Charmed, which are two shows that um, I was actually interested in whenever I was younger. My mom watched a lot, so I watched it with her. 
but I didn't really find a book or anything sadly and um, I was hoping they would have at least had a few retro video games in there that I could have bought but there was nothing that I could find. Okay, so I'm here at my last stop and uh, first let me show you what it is before I say anything. And I know you guys are probably wondering, Walmart, why are you at Walmart? Well first, I actually need to come here because I need to get a new desk lamp. And second, it's literally the perfect way to end this day because I got everything that I wanted. Now it's time to get something that I actually need. So let's go in there and find that thing. I ended up finding the section where all the lamps were. And I saw some of the ones that I saw on the app, but right now they're priced way more expensive than they initially were yesterday when I found them. But then I found these like LED gooseneck LED lamps guys and they have like a freaking like AC adapter on them which I can like plug in my phone charger and charge my phone at night and then the lamp and this is the lamp itself and it's LED light so I never have to worry about like changing or having to charge it or anything or ever or and it says I don't right here it says I don't have to ever replace the bulb but we'll have to see but I might actually get this guys it's only eight dollars and it's everything that i need i don't really need anything fancy so let's go check out let's head back to the dorm and see if it actually works and i definitely need to go back because i'm starting to get hungry you guys saw my lamp ended up working out and it looks great and i honestly can't wait to start using it more i hope that you guys enjoyed this like little shopping vlog and definitely watch out for more content because I will be putting up a shopping haul video. It's going to be a short one, but I want to show you guys what I got. And thank you guys so much for watching this video and stay tuned for more content. Bye!